Darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components gave the former middle manager the chance to quietly reach an accord with the demented ghost of Hyperion past. The dream of the vault seemed closer than ever. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the Borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a foul. the con artist intervened. <laughs> that was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie. And their first job was likely to be their last. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting now? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, that's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? We could jump him. Hey, you what? There's two of us. Even you should like those odds. <laughs> Easy for you to say. You're not the one who keeps beating up. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid. It's, it's genius. All right. Go on then three. One. Two. Three. Go! again. Clearly, I can't trust you two, so you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. On. Vaughn! Shut up. <gasps> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. 
this man. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then you... Collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone. You can't blame yourself. You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll get you the piece. Oh, come on. Well, that's just lovely. And here I thought I was going to have to stab someone. <clears throat> Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, okay, okay, This isn't the on. first time we've had to get creative. Look, I know well, what we have to do. Thank you. Alright guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've gotta get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordis's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make some How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll sword. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong, sauce. And that's why we have to drill down Actually, on every I could use your help. Yeah, so of course you fault? could. I'm not the one Is that a yes or no? Suicide what? Just you think old Jack would leave his I'd meat buddy hanging? Great. Real I helpful. honestly don't reality. know how to answer that. That's all I'm saying. So the listen, I hate to be the bearer of good news here, but if there's one thing you know order. about me, it's that I'm a collector of my rival's top secret projects. That's why I'm going to share this juicy little tidbit with you. Once upon a time, a few of my guys bought, yeah, borrowed an Atlas shipment that contained parts for one of their top secret projects. Would you, you give it got a rest? the beacon. And about a zillion other Atlas gizmos, too. That's the best tech in town right there. Especially their freaking guns. Oh, man. I got, I got this one with a fist attachment. So you can literally punch someone in the face before you shoot them. <laughs> what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there. 
and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed the location data now. Well, let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, the Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship, obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess! You'll sabotage the whole freaking mission! It just... came out of nowhere. Don't do it! You'll only make things way worse! Well, it took me a minute to search my memory files, but BOOM! What do you know? It was right there all along. Huh. Sounds... Technology. Gotta love it. Reese, if there's something you need to get off your chest, we're listening. You gotta admit, it was pretty weird when you passed out after we left the security office. What we're saying is that even if we could figure out a way to undertake this mission, we need to know you're a hundred percent. Which you're clearly not. 
We're worried about you. Yeah, it definitely seems like something's up. Here's why you don't need to worry. Because we're friggin' Team Awesome! And August, that's why. Together, nothing can stop us. Huh? Bring it in. For the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, don't no. look at me. I'll kill you. G go team! <laughs> Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan? Just stick to the old con. We're professional racers. He looks like he lives on a diet of car exhaust and old ham. I doubt he'll see through it. He does smell like ham. It's my two favorite gals. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no. Not like you're a fast woman or... Racing is going awesome. We just won the Grand Chalice and the Bad Attitude Crater Invitational, and I am, woo, tired from that. Uh, y'all know I was joking, right? I know you ain't really racers, but it ain't no big deal. Hell, I knew you was in trouble, and being lied to is one of the less horrific things that can happen to you out here. I'm just happy to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing, no, it's, it, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Scooter, we are going to space. What? I love space! It's like my fourth favorite thing, behind tacos, trucks, and heavy eye contact. That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. 
Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield. I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on. You just got I just want to know one last thing. And then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that... Scooter, wanna come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Whoa, space buddies! Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not. Crap our pants. But you ah. are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reeds. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Yeah, you better run. You see? I told you so. Wallet. Head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? Skin pizza. Oh, you uh, clearly haven't I been can't. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. You know what? Not to blow up your ego, kid, but I see a real future for you at Hyperion. It's kind of future where two like-minded masters of their own fates could deal some serious damage. Huh? If you do as I say, Hyperion may even name a ship after you someday. The SS Jack's Apprentice. Cool, right? Company car, office with a view, ugh, unlimited free lunches. I've earned it all. Yeah, that's the spirit, and you'll get it. With my help. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what?
Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Uh, how am I gonna find Vasquez's face in all this mess? That's what an echo eye's for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning. Scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kinda respect this psycho. I always thought I'd... Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Disturbed huh? sleep pattern? <laughs> Flawless! Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! <laughs> Alright, good, good, again! This time with feeling! Give him the old smackdown! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky oh. dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirt. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Oh, looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Just rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh, mmm. Okay, just peeling it off. Peeling off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. <laughs> With your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it uh, off. Right seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. Oh. Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save the face. Technically, it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could... So, one. One, yeah. Psycho with chest bomb. Boom! You said something about a bomb, psycho? Oh, yeah. There. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? 
Fiona should fit in on Helios, but you, Sasha? No way, man. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Alright, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Sash. Make it quick. Not impressing anyone with this, but it's all right. So, uh, I'm sorry about earlier. Uh, for what? Oh, nothing in particular. Just like to throw apologies out there in case I miss something, you know? Uh, better to play it safe. <laughs> That's... a thing to do. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey! Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. Ooh, not sure it's gonna work. What? Really? Why not? I mean, being Hyperion is just as much about the attitude as, as the clothes, so... Uh, it, put, put your nose up like you're, you know, uh, tracking down a stench. Better? Perfect. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks, just gotta scan my... severed face here. Yeah, have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <sighs> skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it certainly... Big. <gasps> That's Scooter for ya. I hope Vaughn's alright. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back.
Murphy. You gotta see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. Guess you kept your promise. I always do. At least, with you. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... We can talk about the future in the future. Right now, we've got a job to do. Keep your head in the game. Please, don't worry about me. I'm a professional. You should really be worried about those dopes. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. We get the beacon, then ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah. I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! Scooter's earned the right to cash in on this trip. If it weren't for him, we'd still be stuck down on Pandora. And August, what exactly have you done for this mission? That's what I thought. Ah, oh, whatever. Awesome! That seems like a bad idea. Well, no one asked you. Warning. Debris collision imminent. <gasps> Is that a... person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Impact detected on center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know! Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. 
What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? Don't you worry, your pretty little yeah, all of this, that, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though. Now go on. 
I gotta catch a ride. Alright, y'all. This is probably the end, but you see Moxie or Ellie, you tell them I did some awesome shit. Okay? It's been real. That was the first casualty of the mission. What did we do? We honored him as best we could. He truly earned this. It's the least we can do. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. There we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office, just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? What's up, ladies? What you been doing? Talking about boys? Nope. Just discussing casual misogynism and how it manifests in corporate executives. Oh. Yeah, well... <laughs> Just getting around. And boys. Captain's brother is finally marrying his boyfriend. This is the happiest I've ever been. 
Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Honor. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch a... Whatever the hell it says, it was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Hmm. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... Oh, my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Eva, it's so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Could we talk somewhere that's less exposed? We're fine right here. I'd like to shed more light on the situation. The situation is that you brought Reese back in pieces. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. How many baggies would you like? Excuse me? Well, it's just that my colleagues tend to die badly. Anderson, Reese, I could go on. And if things were to go south, I'd like to know your preference. One big bag or a bunch of little ones? Maybe with the cute zip ties? They make them in a million colors. Never start what you can't finish. Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. I don't know for the password. All right, all right, you want to dance? Let's dance. Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. It's child's play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. And now I broke the program. So let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? It's not the royal we this time. Aha! Uh -huh. Security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. 
Just one sec. Let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. If I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the hub of heroism. Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Handsome Jack Memorial and Tour. It's like they worship. Spot our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, a guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. There's a tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job! believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. Hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A uh, nice tour guide, Link? Come on. I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot, you'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention! Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? 
Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Ah, uh, nice masks. Oh, you think we'd settle for Promethean knockoffs? This is the Handsome Jack VIP experience, baby! Right. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. All right. VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Handsome Jack... Defeating... um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? A vault monster. And then, plucking out its eye to use as a super weapon. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... I wish I had a horse like that. If you feed it, the stallion will crap high-velocity weaponry. Oh, so this is Butt Stallion. Ooh. Ah, Whoa. okay. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, it kinda just looks like a chair. It's just a chair. But what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. I had to leave my chair for a throne, if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all! So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. Boom, gotcha! <laughs> Good one, right? Alright, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. Step aside and raise your arms. Ho oh, ho, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. You're welcome for the awesome tour. Awesome? Yeah, it seemed like you just made up half of it. You ungrateful little poser. <laughs> okay, if posing as Handsome Jack is a crime, then find me guilty. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Gordon, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm, can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop! What? Oh boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh, 
it ought to be. I paid good money for this. Yeah, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the oh my god oh VIP oh experience. god this isn't a we tour you it's a goddamn tour. death trap Goodbye. okay uh let's go everybody out I'm not cleaning that shit up again you got this that's a heavy duty looking door. This better work. Damn it. Yeah. Sorry, hold on. Yeah? I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Some moron on the tour tried to go through before the door was deactivated. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second, and, uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back. That's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. You, uh, really want to talk to me like that? You can't just come back after what you did and expect things to be the same. Sure I can. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Bond all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you betrayed me. You're only out for yourself. You traitor. Oh, grow up. It's just an office. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. You're right. Reese isn't dead. What? I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? I'd, uh, get her off that phone if I was you unless you want to be a bullet sponge. I need your... Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Really? That's how this is going down? A stun rod? Oh, wait a second, that's the one... The one I gave... To Reese. Real sorry about this event. How dare you threaten me? Fiona, you there? Reese, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? Yvette sold us out to Vasquez. I thought she was our friend. Oh, well, friends are rare when money's on the table. I'm sorry, Reese. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown and I can't get the beacon. A little help? Uh... I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no law means everybody's gonna die! At least we're all doomed together! Yay! Come on, Reese, it'll come to you. You know, if I were you with that stun baton, I would have drained the freaking battery on it back. Deactivate the security 
Well, oh, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation town. You're here. Oh, good. Come on, don't try and tell me now. I could do without the sarcasm, Reese. I don't see you overflowing with ideas. Sorry, just stressed. I'll call you back. Wait, what? Reese! As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Not to burst your bubble or anything, but isn't a trap door just a little cliche? So is saying burst your bubble, what's your point? Uh, that I'm surprised a man of your distinct tastes would have one? It's a time-honored tradition used by generations of Iberian CEOs. You know, I, I feel like you're mocking my culture. It's just a trap door. Jeez. Uh, it's not just a trap door. It's the centerpiece of your new plan. Uh, you're gonna need to go in the outhole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No, oh, what did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. You're telling me I will be the first person to go through your trapdoor and live to tell about it. First and probably the last. Okay then, guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step though is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. Tell me you've got a plan. Oh, yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a real doozy. Oh, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? And that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it, and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. Hey. Hey! Putting this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why... why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop fucking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet me at... Reese, are you there? V Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating Drake fruit. Really want to... With the... V v Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Vasquez! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that 10 million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry, just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Shoot, please! No! Da -da -da -da! 
To lead. this thing you saw nothing okay sometimes the light plays tricks makes a statue look like it's seeping blood but it's all just in your head i know a bleeding statue when i you see one hey what's going on here with you all how's it going oh hi reese things are going great did you just say reese nothing I could have swore you said Reese. I'm Vasquez. Not Reese. Not a stupid robot, am I right? Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Yeah, I've got some heavy interrogation ahead of me with this Pandoran scum. Interrogation? Oh yeah, you don't do whatever they did and not get some interrogation for your trouble. You know what I'm saying? I guess so. Go on and grab some lunch or something. Hey, I hear the macaroni is good. I got this handled. I do love macaroni. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Nice job. Hey, Gordas, just so you know, I, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know. You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. 
Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary... So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordis boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear, but it's all we've got, so... There's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Climb! Climb! You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave me the slip. But Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to. Look, we had to change plans. There were... complications. Well, let me uncomplicate it. Get the beacon, bring it to me. Yeah, working on it. Good. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I, I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordis, you there? Hey! Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay. Here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there.
a scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary <laughs> method of communication. Gotta love it. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. Haha, <laughs> eager to jump in the big chair, huh? That suits you. You look good. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! Now what are you doing? Who is it you're talking to? They told me to stay quiet. Oops! <gasps> I did it again! Sure, she'd like to see you too. Oh, hey, here she is. So, if we could wield Hyperion's might together, how would you rule? Hypothetical, of course, but still. You gotta know what you want, if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? And open the vault, finish what I started. Even if there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. I was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole... AI thing. I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. Hell no! You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I 
am really going to enjoy killing you. I am done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really not. Ring, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just Let's getting get into position. position. What are you doing? <laughs> It's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome, goddamn Jack! 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 Jack!